Last episode, we made a mushroom village and we filled it with villagers. However, we don't have many emeralds, so it's been a bit tough leveling them up. So far, we've only locked in two villagers and it's been a bit of a struggle. So we've got this guy, he's our feather fallen guy. And I did manage to level him up the whole way, but he doesn't sell anything else good. Well, he does do lanterns, but no good books. So then I moved on to another villager and we've managed to get this one with silk touch. But I'm basically out of levels to level him up. And the rest haven't been done yet and I haven't done the interiors. So we've got some stuff to work on. I would say our best bet to get emeralds is to trade our pumpkins. Where are they? Here they are. But we have like seven, so this farm is not good. Anyway, I was thinking we use pistons and observers to very quickly just turn our pumpkin farm into an auto one. Did I get the right stuff for pistons? Oh yes, I did. And we're out of quartz. Okay, I'm just gonna go get some real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, we got the observers. Let's see if we can make this automatic. I'm not 100% sure I can manage this because I've never done this kind of layout before. So we'll see how we go. And then how do observers work again? Okay, we need it looking down. Okay, the farm works and I've been AFK, so let's check on our pumpkin supply. This is how it looks, by the way, just pistons, observers, and a collection system. So what have we got? Oh, nearly two stacks. We can work with that. Also, this looks really ugly, but I don't want to get sidetracked making it pretty. I think it'll just be temporary, so let's continue our mission. We want to trade with all of our farmers. Oh my gosh, why are there so many jobless villagers? Let's see. And maybe you? Oh, perfect. And you. And now with all these emeralds, we should be able to come over to this village and lock in and level up all our villagers. So we'll start by leveling up this silk touch guy. And now we've leveled him, he sells piercing, lure, and mending. Mending would be great, but we already have a mending villager. I'm gonna go work on the rest of the villagers, and then we can decorate their houses. Okay, well we've got all six trades locked in, so we're pretty much there. Except one of our trades is really expensive, so we're still gonna need more emeralds. My thoughts, a cute little melon patch back here. So we'll hoe some random plots. And then we'll plant the melon seeds and we can trade them with our farmers so one melon for one emerald. Now for our villagers, they're all librarians and I thought I'd add little signs so we can tell what they are. So this one sells Respiration 3. Then we have Silk Touch, Unbreaking, Death Strider, Feather Falling and Protection. This one's the rope off, it's like 25 emeralds for a book. It's the best deal I could get, it's still down from 45 but it's pretty bad. Also to add a bit of life to the village I ended up acquiring these guys. There's one here and one over there. Maybe we can make the little rugs on their back different colours. How do I... nope. Oh, here we go. Wait, nope. Oh, it's carpet. Carpet not wool. So we go like this. That looks cute! Oh, hello. Are you two friends? That's interesting. <gasps> it's so cute! And now let's decorate the villagers' houses. I think because they're all librarians, it'd be easy to do them all the same, but it'd also be kind of boring. So maybe some of them will have other hobbies and we can decorate their houses like that. But let's start by doing a pretty normal one, maybe this one. So let's go ahead and decorate this one like a normal cute Minecraft house. Melon collecting break. We gotta collect our melons. Okay, so this is how the first house turned out. It's pretty cute. I gotta say, if I were you, I would love to live here. He's got everything a little villager could need. Next, I think we'll do this house and maybe this village is into baking or cooking. Oh yes, I can see it in his eyes. So for his decor, the first thing I wanna do is get a bunch of cakes to display. Sir, do you sell cake? Oh, you don't. He sells cookies though. That could be good to display. Oh, here we go. Cake. It even kind of looks like this could be a bakery counter. So let's go ahead and make this place look cute. We'll turn the front space into a kitchen with a fridge and some counters and cupboards. And then we'll add more food and lighting and carpets. Oh, I almost forgot I made a blast furnace to be the oven. It can go in here. And I've seen people make it like there's smoke on top. I don't know if it works like this. <gasps> it does. That is so cute. 
The fridge requires some imagination, but the oven is beautiful. So that's the bakery done. Now I think we'll take the moss house and we can make it look like they really like plants. Are you a plant lady? Yes. We'll start by adding glowberries and leaves to the ceiling and then we'll go from there. Okay, and this house is complete. So obviously if we go in, it's covered in plants. Wait, who are you? Excuse me? Who's this? You don't live here. I guess one of the babies got out of the breeder and grew up and now he thinks he lives here. Anyway, we have a little bedroom corner here and then on this side there's a little flower bed and a big corner desk. And this kind of organic carpet shape, I feel like it looks like it's growing. Kind of like how moss grows. Next I think we'll work on this house. Maybe this villager goes spelunking and they're into collecting gems and ores. If they're into caving they're gonna need armor so we'll make them an armor stand. Uh, smooth stone, beautiful. And I have these that we can use but I'd like to have some ores around, I don't think I really have any ore. We can fix that, we just need to go down to our mines. I think there's, oh yes there's some gold. And then do we have any more? Oh, redstone. Hello. It'd be cool if we had emerald, but I guess that'll do. No, 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 I don't want to hit the horses. I think I got the horse. No! You've got to go. Yep. Oh, and you. You're the one that keeps setting me on fire. Oh, I think we're safe. What do I do with you? Look, I have a horse. I didn't even know there was a thunderstorm. I guess I was AFK. Okay, let's get a lead on a saddle. Can I... Wait, how do I saddle you? Ah. Oh, are you fast? I guess you're, you're kind of fast. Oh, and these guys, they can go under water and they don't drown. <laughs> this is funny. Well, I guess for now, I don't have a stables, but you can... Can we get you up the hill, please? You can join our little skeleton area. Let me know any name ideas for this one. We'll have to be careful, though. He doesn't have many hearts. You can just stay there. And I think there's one other one around here. We don't have an extra lead, so I guess I can just roam. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. This is how the amethyst house is looking. I think we're done with it. We've got a little bed. Oh, hello. And lots of display shelves for gems and crystals. The last two houses to finish decorating are these two. I think we'll go up the Skulk house next and we want a kind of spooky theme. Maybe a little bit witchy but I think I'll need decorations from the nether. Specifically from the warped forest and we haven't actually been there yet. So I don't really know where to go but we're gonna try it. So we want to get decorative items but I think while we're there we have another mission to do too. I think we have a total of... I don't even know where it is. We've got one ender pearl somewhere. So I think while we're there, we should get enough ender pills to fight the dragon. Let's give it a go. I think we've found the biome we're after. Oh, there's an enderman. Okay, last time we did this, we died. So let's not do that again. Enderman. Hello. Can I have your pearl? Oh, yes. Oh, it gave me three. I love looting. Hello. Yes. Oh, there's another one too. And we're at seven. And now let's check out this forest. Wait. Is it really tiny? Oh! Hot terrace destinations. This is like the smallest biome ever. Why are there always so many tiny walked forests? I almost never see a big one. Oh my gosh, please say there's vines. I really want the vines. No! I don't think there is. Oh, that is so dumb. And now I think we'll just get a couple more endermen and then we'll see where this biome goes. I mean, it goes nowhere, but hopefully there's something nearby. There was more nearby, so I managed to get some of the vines before we headed home. And with all our great new supplies, we can make some eyes of ender. And we can make an ender chest. Oh, there's our ender pill. I never really know what to do with ender chests. Like, where do I put it? What do I put in it? And now let's go ahead and decorate these final two houses. Okay, I went ahead and did them. So in this house here, oh, 
excuse the noise, there's skulk sensors on the roof, but we have this kind of teal nethery witchy feeling. He's got his bed nook here, counter in the middle, and a little cauldron area here. And then if we come over here, I kind of tried to make this one look like a library. So this is a library counter, and then we just have bookshelves. This interior is kind of a funny shape, there's not as much room, but I think it's kind of cozy. And that completes every single house in the village. I've even used most of the enchantments I gave us. And since I've been collecting emeralds with all our pumpkins and melons, I think we can finally afford protection. So now we can upgrade our helmet and boots. Next I want to do something I've kind of been meaning to try for a while. So this place is called Blossom Valley and we've got spore blossoms and we've got these kind of blossomy pink leaves. But I think it'd suit the name if there was a big cherry blossom tree. So I've been collecting birch leaves from over there and I've just collected a bunch of spruce. I think we might strip it. So Evie, let's find a spot for a big blossom tree. The only space we really have on the island is here but I don't want it to be next to the mushroom. It'll be like two tall things competing for attention. And then I thought we could do it here. We can take down this tree but there's still not quite enough room. But then if we come along here more there's kind of a gap here. I really like this tall mushroom but maybe we could just move it. Maybe the mushroom goes on the island and then the tree goes there. That. that looks so good. I made it a couple of blocks shorter but it's still pretty tall. And now over here as soon as these leaves are gone we can build our cherry blossom. Let's do some building. This came out pretty. I really love it from far away. I mean, it's nice close up too, but look at it from here. It makes the landscape nicer. Anyway, so while I was building, I kind of got carried away. I ended up kind of thinking of a whole backstory. So basically how those villagers got here and how it ties in with the tree and why they named it Blossom Valley. So we've got this book here and the idea is that they've written down the history of their village. It's kind of long, so I won't read it, but you can pause it if you want. Basically the villagers were looking for a home and they decided to camp under the tree and then some magic happened and the giant mushrooms grew for them to live in. And so they moved into the mushrooms and decided the tree was magic. So yeah, we have law now. Anyway, now that we've decorated our villager houses, got ender pearls and made a blossom tree, I think that'll be it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!